This top laner runs the Chinese super server. It is unanimous. Every single person agrees on the server. He is the best top laner on the planet. This guy, you can see in the leaderboard, the Chinese super server guy is a little bit dodgy. You know, there is no OPGG for the super server. Okay, it comes from China. They use different apps, but even if it's blurry, you can see he sees 2,075 LP. Most played set, then Aatrox, Wukong, Darius, Mordecai is this very bruiser setup. If you go all the way down, you can see Beifang there um, coming in at number nine with Kiana at his most played at 1660. Very interesting to see all the champions of this leaderboard. You see a couple of AD carries. Like a lot of, most of these players obviously are streamers, guys. But today we're gonna jump onto the rift, break down this top laner's playstyle, and see what it is about him that makes him so lethal. On to the rift now at Aatrox Game. He posts almost all his games on his own YouTube channel, which has like 10 viewers per, per game. It's crazy. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below, help these guys out. I don't know, I think it's his official one. I don't know, but maybe someone else is ripping it. But anyways, if you wanna learn top lane, if you wanna learn Aatrox, or any of these bruises, guys, free LP. You just check in, watch a couple of his games, and really start to adopt his playstyle. He plays these bruises. It's Aatrox and Set mainly, sometimes Darius. These are the key. He's the solo kill king. You can see him running Ignite, see him running Flash. He solo kills his opponent. He's steady as a rock. He never feeds. He is the best top lane. Everyone on the super server loves having this guy on their team. He doesn't tilt. He's just a rock in the top lane that just fucking plays these hardcore tanky bruises and takes over the game. You can see into the Jace matchup, you do not want to take too much health early. You wait for that level 3 spike, and then you look for the all-in with the W. And man, I really don't. Like, a good Aatrox just seems to be able to take over the game. I see them a lot these days. They go Seraldas Grudge if they snowball. It's like Gauldring or Seraldas. And with the new Bruiser items as well, uh, uh, maybe this new Death Dance setup, who knows? Maybe Aatrox is going to be even better on this new patch. As he hits level 3, gets the Q, just weaves it all through. Conqueror stacking. The Conqueror, Jace out of mana. And this guy, he streams every day, guys. Uh, he streams, it looks like he streams on Billy Billy, so. Try and show him some luck. As he has the Q flashes in. Jace flashes. He's going to run away. And doesn't quite get him. I thought he's going to go for a one for one there. But with the TP changes, it seems like, especially in low elo games, guys, like if you're below, like challenger top lane is okay. You're in pro play. Yeah, TP maybe. Please start running Ignite more often. These new TP changes mean you can't influence the game early. The early game is so important, okay? Like, sure, in the late game, TP's gonna be nice as we finally look for the dive. We grab the dive. It's gonna be a one-for-one. One, but then, of course, it's worth because Jace is gonna miss out on a lot of the CS. And you can see him zooming in here, seeing it's 100% worth. I think Jace... Was Jace running Ignite? He's not TPing, so I presume so. So the, the Jace is completely stuffed from here. He's gonna get the pickaxe, run up to the top lane. The wave is probably gonna reset back into him. He sets up the freeze... And I honestly think you can start running. You can run Aatrox in the mid lane. There's simply nothing wrong with running Aatrox set in the mid lane if you know how to play Bruises. It's one of the best um, all rounders because if you learn top lane Aatrox, it's like, okay, you just Q top mid and you've got a good champion pool where you can climb. Jace is running the Ignite. The wave is going to crash back into him. He's going to set up a freeze and then Jace is completely stuffed. And I feel like. For me, I feel like Aatrox is a very simple mechanical champion to get down. Once you understand the Q mechanics, it's pretty simple. And I feel for Aatrox mains because Riot Games was like, okay, we don't really want champions to have revives. Aatrox doesn't have a revive mechanic anymore. When he dies, he dies. Then they release action, just rise the entire team. Then now they're coming out with that new... Uh, Granat, Rendetta, whatever the hell her name is, where she can just revive people with a W skill. And Aatrox is sitting there like... Are you fucking serious right game? Are you serious right now? Poor guy. But to be fair, he was completely unbalanced on those patches as we watch his wave mechanics. Top lane's all about... Top lane, to me, it's way more about wave management than mid lane. It's a, such a longer lane, so you can punish people way more. As he gets that positive trade, wave is situated perfectly for him. As the E, of course, is an auto attack reset. He's gonna wait for level 6. It's level six. You might just pop it. The Q lands, you just pop it. Q misses. W lands. 
Pops the ultimate. Out of Q3, as we get the extra auto attack range and we take yeah, the Jace away. down. He's the solo kill king. He gets solo kills every single game. And even when he ints, like, let's say he goes aggressively, he dies, things on set, Aatrox. He CSs at 10 per minute. He becomes, br he becomes very tanky. That's the best thing about these bruises. It doesn't matter if you're 0-10, if you farm well, and you understand some type of map play, you're going to be relevant in the map. And that's why everyone loves having him on his team, on their team. I hate having, like, Fioris, Camilles. They're always so inconsistent. One game they'll carry, the next game they'll miss position and get one tap. It's like, dude, we all know the key to solo queue is consistency. We all we have we all admit that. Doesn't matter about your pop off games. It matters about making your average very solid because with pop off games you take risks. With risks you have very low games where you int, and then you're up, and then you're down, and then you're in the middle. You're consistently up here. Gradual climb, that's all it's about. Don't rush it. Take your bloody time. Be patient. I keep getting people in, like, they always cannot climb with this sh I get plus 15 and then minus 17. I can't do it. Dude, every player in the history of climbing has gone through one of those bad MMR cycles. Even Dopa. Everyone has done it. It's either you climb out of it, you take responsibility. It will. The MMR curve will eventually flatten for you. Or you live, give up, so the systems are against only you, your teammates suck, and you blame everyone else. You start focusing on things you can't control, which is your LP gains, you can't control that. And you stop focusing on your gameplay, and that's the only thing you can control. Move in, ult up in 10 seconds, you can see he's working his way towards the Gore Drinker. And AH, I pronounce it, because I think it's much better. And you can see Jace went for the coin flip roam bot. And that is the nature of top lane with these stupid roamers. You see all these support, these support top laners like Jana at the moment, kind of taken over with Smite. And the whole idea about that is not that it's really that strong, it's that the system's broken towards objective bounties. Um, if you're able to not CS but still make an impact on the map, any top laners like 100 CS, the system finds an imbalance. Um, and then they start putting objective bounties. So mathematically, you're going to come out with a win eventually. You know, your win rate is going to be better than, like, going to be over 50%. Um, just got to make sure you're consistent and don't die. What is the counter to Jana top laners? People have tried to figure it out. Is it things like Kale that hyper scary? Hyper carry? Is it something that has wave clear early and you can run like demolish and get tower platings? We're all trying to work it out. At the end of the day, I'm pretty sure Riot Games is going to make teams only be able to run one smite. Or they're going to turn objective bounties off for some type of CS leads. I don't know what's going to happen. But Riot Games need to fix it because it's starting to come out in competitive. Forces the Jace Flash. He's fucked now. And I'm looking for a dive. And I would say this guy is the Chinese Hashinchin, but... I don't know. I haven't really seen much of Hashinchin these days. But he still plays Aatrox. And obviously, he's not high rank like this guy. Interesting, he doesn't go for the dive there. I thought you could definitely go for a dive and look for a one for on the wave, but he's just not going to risk it. He wants to try and make his way as close to he can, get the steel caps to the gore drinker. This team's down, it's 9 to 5, by the way. The team comp is very good, though. You got Nocturne, you got Vex, Kaisi, Yumi. You got everything you want in the team comp. I'm excited to see Yumi Aatrox late game. That's going to be clean. And I've watched about four or five of this guy's Aatrox games just quickly. Krugs. He will never come back to lane without picking up these bloody Krugs. He loves them. Finds the Jace. Jace is dead. Q. Lance. Q. Lance. Pops the ultimate. You can see how he's holding his flash. Holding his ignite. If you can get the kill, just be slow with it. Grabs the kill for himself, holds flash, holds ignite. Perfect kill. Gets the shutdown because of Jace's roams. Now they've eaten the two shutdowns. And it looks like I will be playing the Chinese Super Server in just over a month. Looking forward to it. Will I meet this guy or will I be stuck inevitably in Platinum? Who knows? Only time will tell. As we're now able to finally get the tower. God, we've gotten so much gold from plates this game. This poor Jace.
Move across, help out the Harrow. Deny as many minions as you can. See, if you by taking, not taking that tower there, all the minions die. Come through, grab the Lux. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these are some bounties he's eating. Does he have Cave Hold? Beautiful wave clip. Not gonna kill the tower yet. Gonna leave it. Hoping the Jace clears it. Has the Gore Drinker. Let's see if he goes Grudge next. I want to work what he works towards. I see some of these early game grudges, but then obviously, like, you can go. There's plenty of items you can go these days on Aatrox. And these Bruiser setups are just so nice. Just Gore Drinker situational. Jace. As the steel caps on his way to an eclipse. Not a single plate to his name, the poor guy. Yes, Q. Oh, white. And he actually holds his flash. Now that I watch him, he actually holds his flash a lot more than other players. He's not going to flash for a, a Jace that has this many deaths. He's going to hold it. He does. He knows he can kill without it. He's just going to hold. Good kill by the Vex. Completely broken champion at the moment. So we finally get the top lane tower. And I want to see what he does now. Do we stay top or do we actually start grouping and impacting the map? I want to see what his plan is. Jace lands QE. No reward there. Has a Shaw Weeper. Because this is a problem. You get the top lane tower. You've dominated lane. But your team's behind. Now what? Okay, well, maybe his team's doing a little bit better than I thought. But the thing is, now what? Do I keep pushing, extending top lane, and maybe overextend and die? Or do I go and roam mid, go roam bot? And it looks like he's happy with the top lane camp style. Nothing to do mid, nothing to do bot. Doesn't have, obviously not running teleport. But happy to stay up here and become a nuisance. Eat every single experience and see as he can. And I'm wondering in my head, what is the highest? Oh shit, three people. Can he escape? Oh, flashes! No shot! Almost 1v3s. That was close. Good flash. For a second there, I thought he was going to do it. The healing. I'm trying to think, what is the best role or most... What is the most seen role in, in the top 10 in all servers at the moment? Normally it's jungle. Normally it's jungle, but on the super server it's not. Seems like it's top AD, top bot. A lot of supports and AD carries. I have to go through it. I feel like midlanders aren't doing too badly at the moment, but eighteen to fourteen. I want to see the. Show me the scoreboard, mate. If you could pull, could you pull that that scoreboard up for me, mate? Thank you. Vex doing well. Bot lane's even. He's got a nice CS lead onto the Jace. No sums going to make it hard. These Krugs, I'm telling you guys. I want to farm 10 per minute. These camps. Your junglers aren't going to come up and eat them. You might as well. They're pretty tasty, these things. They give a lot of gold and XP these days compared to what they used to give. It's interesting he doesn't run any... I thought he was going to go Mercs this game because they haven't any... have a Lux. He opts for the uh, Steel Caps. And he sees Jace in the river and he just going to hard shove. Yumi wants to really jump onto him. Come here, girl. Jump on a Papa. Mm, not sure if that's a right sentence, but... We'll grab the blue buff. Nocturne Ultimate is ready. You can see the indicator running up on the Wii game. Lee Sin steals the blue... And this is going to be another 1v3. Is he going to go for it or is he going to juke it? W Lance. Jukes. Yumi ult comes through. He has ultimate. He pops it. Incredible. That is just disgusting, this champion. He's making his way through, trying to pick up the Lee Sin. Does he get it? Of course he does. No! The Jace makes it out. It's funny. He gets so low and then instantly it's just ult Gore Drinker and baits everything, doesn't he? Interesting how he plays this. You can see the power of this Bruiser setup. Huge four man for his team. Jay still under the tower. Yumi sitting very comfortable. 
on his shoulders. Is he just going to wait for the E? And we're going to hunt him down. I'm sorry, Jace, but you have to die. Does he? Yes, he does, of course. <laughs> I'm excited for this next buy. After this buy and Yumi on him, I actually think he's going to be at 1v5. Stays off of vision, plays it very well. Jukes out on the Lux. Lux ultimate. Q. Q. Moves in. Q. Keep him alive. The Aatrox. He drops the Ignite. The anti-heal. It's too much. Luckily, Yumi's able to get on Vex, but it's not enough. And they're going to drop themselves. Lee Sin picks up the double. FFO comes through. Let's see how he goes. What's his plan? DD? His team wants to FF? Yeah. He knows he can carry. His team is crazy if they think. Question mark, Ping? <laughs> um, what's the plan here, boss? Force of nature. Let's get it. A little bit of extra MS. Some tanky stats. There's no shot they can lose a fight if they play it correctly. Aatrox flash up in 50. Always play on your flashes. In your head, guys. Like, if you're 30 seconds from your flash being up, like, just wait. A lot of people will just run in, and they see a fight, and they won't ping it to their team. And then if they had flash, the whole circumstance of that fight would change. And yet they rush it, they overthink it, and they're like, fuck, man, I have flash in 20 seconds. I should have just pinged off and waited. You just wait. Be a little bit patient with the flashes. Play around your summoners. Pro tip for some low elo players. You're just beginning. A lot of things you need to think about is Jace overextends. Here comes the Annie. Annie, are you okay? Annie is not okay. She's deceased. Flash in five. Q, land. Vex moves the way in. And this should be a free dub. Q gets the reset on the ultimate. Weaving these automat automates. <laughs> Auto attacks. And now he's healed to fall. This champion. I don't even know Aatrox's global win rate at the moment. I thought it wasn't that high. He finally zooms out. I saw him zoom in for a second. I'm like, what the hell? It's kicked. Vex makes her way in. I don't think it's quite killable. Come on, help him! Good setup. This Yumi healing, man. I really don't like Yumi as a champion design. Perfect. If you land one Q, guys, the W is going to land, right? He could have flashed Q there, but he didn't opt for it. Interesting. Moves in. Gets the gore drink out. Going to look to land the Q on the Jinx. Does land it. Could EQ in. Jukes. Q. W. Q. Oh, the Q. The Q3 would have... The Q3 would have executed. And he's holding flash, man. He's always holding flash like this. I need to hold my flash better, bro. To be fair, sometimes I don't flash. Not on purpose. I just don't do it. Good sell the Doran shield here. There he goes. Interesting three item spike. Nocturne makes its way in. One taps the Lux. Thank you. This Lux looks very bad. You'll find a lot of bought and boosted accounts on the Chinese super server more than any other server, guys. Uh, mainly because these type of things don't go punished on the server. But like Beifang talks about a lot. There's so many boosters. There's so many boosted accounts. And the games can be very mismatched. Um, and no one gets punished, really. So uh, the system is a little bit different. But you can always tell on some of these high-low vids there's a player there. And you're like, dude, how this guy is not at a 2,000 LP rank, but, like, this guy is, but, like, I'm saying, like, he shouldn't be in the rank, the game of this guy, but, it is what it is, as we look for the leak, we walk over the traps for fun, and you can flash here, you can E over that, okay, apparently, I like these E's, he could, will he ever use flash, it's my, uh, it's my dying question, Finally uses the flat. Is he taking damage? Are we are we not tanking the tower here? Are we not tanking the tower here? I don't like this. 
It just takes 60 attack. Why could you take 60 tower shots? I thought they were meant to ramp up. Oh. This guy, man. He's the rock in the top lane on the super server. He's the guy everybody desires and everybody wants. I wish it was me. But it's not. It's him. Get the stoppy. Looking for a G8. Probably G8 grudge, I'd say, is full build here. I'm not sure on the new Sterax. I haven't really looked in the changes too much. I know they changed it. But also don't know if China's got the new patch yet on the items. Can't read, so I don't know where the Death Dance... The... Uh, EW? That's a long one. Flash is for the Jinx. That's nice. Could set up for the Nash. He's going to opt for the rundown mid. He wants this so badly. Oshring's so aggressive too. Has the stoppy, so he knows. He's trying to bait it in with the stoppy. EW just misses. Lee Sin Q's in. Not going to get anything. Nocturne ult comes through. And we're going to play it slow. Big Snow Flash. He knows this. Q E hits the ultimate. Q gets kicked out by the Lee, but that's going to be nothing as we get the fear and delete. And we get the reset. Good night, sweet princes. You are absolutely forked, as Conor McGregor may say. But also may not. I'm not sure. I don't know the guy. Can't dive it, mate. It's funny how his team wanted FF. This just seems... He was so in control this whole game. It's very obvious he's going to take over it. And he does the exact same style with Set and with Darius, guys. Goes for these beefy setups. He's the front... He's, the re he's just so reliable in those front lines. As I thought we were done, but the enemy team just spawned. We still have the stoppy. Thankfully, they have the Umi for the hills. They're going to sort of slowly dance around the Nexus and look for the turn. Ult's up in 10 seconds. I really want Umi on him. Good go. He's looking. He's stoppy. Nice. Alt Q. Hits the ultimate. Blast plant. Q, looking for the jinx, and he gets it. Fox wants. <gasps> and we die. <laughs> Anyways, boys, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching. Seriously, this guy's a fucking monster. Link to his YouTube channel and his stream down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.